Hey y'all, it is November 8th, Tuesday, showing you what's going on in the shop. Russell's not out as usual. We've got industry sharpening today. Should have a good busy day today. Russell and his wife did a good amount of business yesterday at the market they were at. We, they were at a holiday market. Um, so shout out to them for doing that. I will be working on a fork and slicer. They don't go together, but they have matching handles. Um, two separate customers want these hopefully by Christmas. Should get them cleaned up, ready for hand sanding by the end of the day. And the Bowie as well. I'm going to put the Bowie on pause because I have two other ones I want to grind and get some handles on hopefully by the end of this week. If I can get to that and this one, hopefully I can get some sheaths. This depends on how everything goes. That will be the majority of my day along with whatever else comes in. Uh, like I said, we've got sharpening going on. Nico is putting up some inventory and doing some stuff on the computer. So we are in the showroom with a different guy. His name is... Josh. Hey guys! What do we got today, Josh? This is my first handmade, uh, quenched by me, handled by me, uh, cut out by me. It, it's, it's all really, uh, really emotional for me. Right on. What do we got? So it is going to be a Santoku with lignum vitae uh, meat hand meat of the handle, G10 liners on the ferrule or G10 spacers on the ferrule, and a blue juma little spacer in the ferrule as well right on man looks great thank you good deal and that's already in stock it is for 300 right on all right guys if you have any questions let us know uh make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and we'll see you on the next one take care Two. Good morning, it's Wednesday, November 9th, and today I will be finishing up this knife. I may have showed it to you on Saturday. Uh, I didn't get an edge on it, so I'll put an edge on it first thing this morning, uh, give that customer a call. I did get the majority of the fitment done on my first Hidden Tang bread knife, um, so I will get the last bit of fitment uh, secured for that. Uh, and then it does have to go off to the laser engraver. Um, so I'll be communicating with them some more today, see, see what's going on with that uh, project. Uh, otherwise, I am going to be working on the knives for Nico's mom. I believe we got them glued up on Saturday. Uh, I did not grab them. I've, we've had a bit of a crazy morning. I went and helped Elizabeth to set up a downtown market. So uh, I'll be getting those hopefully down to hand sand uh, and making Nico's mom happy before Thanksgiving. So that's my day. Here's Josh with what he's got going on. Hey guys, so what I have going on is templates, not just these two, but a few more for Russell's customs for two of my first customs. I'm super excited about that. Uh, and Daniel's customs as well. I'm also going to be working on the quench knife. I got it. I'm working on making it linear. Uh, it's just taking a little bit. That's all I've got going on. Here's Daniel. Hey y'all, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world. I have got the knives that we glued up on Saturday um, kind of down to get ready to shape up a little bit more. I had to fill some gaps just because the tangs on these guys aren't exactly perfect when you're dealing with a lot of the restoration projects we have, uh, especially the older types of knives, forks like this, you get things that uh, just have warped tangs or bent tangs. It's just what happens with a lot of the misuse that happens with knives through time. That uh, I worked on as well as uh, this guy yesterday. It came in two pieces. You probably can't really see it. Um, but basically the guy wanted it glued permanently together and filling up some of the cracks We'll be doing a little bit of a leather wrap for it later on Hopefully matching the wood to it and I did get a little bit that almost fell And I did get a little bit of the Bowie's ground I'll be taking them up a couple grits and then getting some handles ready for them uh, That will be the majority of my day along with whatever else comes in and I will take you guys in to see our buddy Nico, what's up, buddy? Yo, yo. What yeah. you got for us, man? We got some uh, Finch made mini reflexes. This is oh. a little, little auto guy. You're gonna have to come into the shop to see him. Right on. But yeah, we got a couple of these 154 cm aluminum, very lightweight. They're cool. Dig it, man. And those are in stock, right? Yep. Right on. As always, guys, automatics are not sold online by us because of other state laws having them illegal. If you want to see these autos, you have to come into our shop personally to see them and purchase them. I uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's just what it is. And I know I've probably said it in other videos. If you've watched 
Um, and so I'm just letting you guys know, you gotta be in for those along with the assisteds and some of the other, the out the fronts, the out the fronts. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for us. Russell's back for the week. We'll have some more stuff coming to you and see you on the next one. Good morning, it is Thursday, November 10th, and today I will be finishing getting Nico's mom's knife to uh, hand sanding. Uh, after that, I'll be working on some stock stuff. Uh, we need some more small knives in stock, so I'll be doing that and hope I can do some big knives tomorrow. Um, so really, that's really quick for me. That's my day. Here's Josh with what he's got going on. Hey guys, so today I had met up. <laughs> Yesterday I had mentioned about cutting out some of the blanks and here they are. We have quite a few. That's gonna keep me busy for a while. Today I am going to be cleaning up this blade for a refurb I'm doing for Daniel and I'm gonna be cleaning up this handle a bit more and putting an edge on it. That is my day, probably some other stuff as well. Here's Daniel, what he's got going on. Hey y'all. How you doing? I'm gonna move the camera back this way. Josh is really good at uh, presenting, but not moving the camera well. You know? Anyways, so I've got one of the Bowies ready to kind of get handled up. I've chosen this, which is a really beautiful Koa. Um, I thought about kind of going all out, but I figured let's just get them glued up so I can get something going for them as far as sheath wise goes. I've got one more to polish up and then should be looking at the handle material for that. Flip on over to the slicer and the fork today and get some hand sanding done with that. Josh is helping me out with this refurb, so I appreciate that from him as well. That will be the majority of my day, along with whatever else comes in as per usual. Now, let's go ahead and go into the showroom, see what Nico's got for us. Hey, buddy. Yo, yo. I'm just showcasing a couple of the knives we have. Right so on. this is the Spyderco Chaparral with the bird's eye burl. It's really nice, elegant, little gent carry, light carry, everyday mm -hmm. carry. I like it. CTS mm -hmm. XHP steel, it's a good steel. And then this is a Masamoto Santoku and SRS 13. It's a high speed tool steel. So, pretty sweet. Uh, really good edge retention. It is a laminate for extra stainless. And yeah. Right on. Both in stock, right? Yes. Right on, guys. So, like always, if you have any questions, hit us up. Make sure you're commenting, liking, et cetera, et cetera. We'll see you tomorrow on the next one. Peace. Two. Good morning. It's Friday, November 11th, and yesterday I finished up Nico's mom's knives. Um, so he took them home to her last night, so we won't be filming them this morning, but we'll have photos up of them uh, in, a, in a day or so. So. What else I worked on is this Magna Cut Hanasuki. I got it to polish and <clears throat> Nico and I play in the handle. So we're gonna, basically gonna do a dirt bag 2.0 where we had used this dark earth micarta and carved it up. So this will be the bolster and I'll carve it up and this will be all nice and shiny and smooth. So we'll kind of do a, a new little hybrid handle of it. Um, looking forward to that. That's my day. Here's Josh with what he's got going on. Hey guys, what I've going on, what I've got going on, is I'm gonna be working on Nico's handle. This is based on one of our Takfu knives. It has a traditional katana shape, or handle shape, I should say. Um, the problem with this guy is that I need to grind here and right here because it is a little bit uneven. Uh, and I am going to fix that little shoulder that you see right there. Don't know if you can see it. It's there. Anyways, that's what I've got going on today. Here is what Daniel has. Hey y'all, gonna be working on these two, the fork and the slicer. Got them down to a nice little shape. I'll be getting them up the grits and hand sanding. We got the Bowie's and the, uh, a small, what is this, a paring knife? Russell, is this a paring knife? Paring knife, yeah. Yeah, and a paring knife glued up. That way we could get these three glued up yesterday. Um, also with the scales that Russell showed you for his dirt bag 2.0, we got glued up as well. That will be the majority of what I'm working on. If I can get back to the Bowies uh, to bring them down for hand sanding, I will. Otherwise, my main focus will be on the fork and the slicer. Uh, that will be the majority of my day as usual. Now let's go ahead and go into the showroom to see what our buddy Nico Hayes. Que pasa, Mufasa? Oh, Mufasa. Uh, Mufasa. <laughs> no, 
What you got, bud? <laughs> Kiridashi. Uh -huh. So these are little Magna Cut Kiridashi. Call them the Kashin Kiridashi because they're very sharp. And I will probably cut myself on them at some point. Mm. But they're sweet. They're just basically little blades. You can mark wood with them if you're a woodworker. You can open packages. So you could even use them for really precise cuts in the kitchen if you needed to. But yeah, those are cool. Those are in stock. And then we have, we're shipping this guy out. So this was a Magna Cut slicer, like a Sujihiki with a nice little hidden tank handle Josh made. It's got some ebony, black micarta, and some juma. Right on. Yeah, that's what I got. Maybe some new knives will come in. Right on. Um, other than that, guys, that's what we've got for today. We've got one more day to, for the week, and we'll wrap it up. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Good morning. It is Saturday, November 12th, and today I will work on getting this beautiful bad boy down to hand sanding, uh, and hopefully we can get it in the showroom later today, uh, get an edge on it, whole nine yards. Uh, I will also be working on Nico's Gyoto. This is a hidden tang um, that Josh will be finishing the handle for today. Uh, I'm gonna work on uh, the polishing. I've got it thin. It is thin, thin, thin. I'll work on the polish and we're gonna do an acid etch on that. Um, and then I've also been working on steak knives. So we've got four steak knives for Mr. Rhett. Uh, he wants some just nice classic buffed forge. And I've got four that I'm gonna do a very cool first time etching on. We got our buddy, Time Warp Custom Painting, uh, Limeline. We got his lace in today. Um, so I'll do a spray paint job on four of these and then acid etch them. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. Really excited about that. So that's my day. It's a lot. I don't know if I'll get that all done, but I'm going to work for it. Here's Josh, what he's got going. Hey guys, so what I have here are a few template uh not templates a few blanks i've cut out i'm going to be cutting out a few more they're behind me right now but hopefully i'll get that done and like russell was saying i'm going to work on that handle get that done today that's all i got going on here is what daniel has hi y'all um i'm hand sanding all the knives i showed you yesterday i'm working on i've got one that's ready for buffing um which is not much to show you if I can knock all those out today, hand sanding, which I should be able to, I would like to go upstairs and do some leather work for the Bowies. Maybe try and get at least one or two done for tomorrow. We have an event uh, tomorrow out in Bretham. If that's possible, that's great. If not, it's usually because it's a busy Saturday, which Saturdays tend to be busy. And I'm good with that. So either way, we'll see what happens. I'll be doing that as, long, uh, as well as whatever else comes, comes along. Don't have anything for you guys in the showroom, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Appreciate you guys uh, tuning in with us this week. If you have any questions, make sure you're leaving it in the comments. Make sure you're liking, subscribing. Uh, please interact with us. It's what helps us with the algorithms and with our channel. We'll see you on the next one. You guys have a great weekend, and stay warm because it's nice and chilly out here. Take care, guys.